Dun, 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 dun. Hey guys, it's Ben and Sarah here for Escape the Echo Chamber with Niels, Kat and Ben. And today we're starting off in Gympie, but we're finishing up at uh, Tyro Field Day. So uh, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy this. Alright uh, guys, so welcome to Tyro, home of Mr. T, the big Mary Brit Turtle sculpture up there. Uh, he's pretty sick. Make sure you come and give him a ride. But uh, we're here because Tyro's having a field day. So uh, yeah, it sounds weird, but we're going to go and find out what it is exactly. Just here is some uh, more stuff about the Mary River Turtle. So we'll just have a quick look. There he is there in all his glory. Mary River Turtle. Uh, there's a lungfish. And then you've got the Mary River Cod over there. Like as you, you can see there, he looks really similar to the Murray River Cod. But he just swam over the mountains. And uh, that's how we got here. And then you've got the ball pull nut. I've gone on about the ball pull nut a few times. Um, and yeah, that must be the, the shape the Mary River takes through the back of the town over here on the other side of this hill. Uh, let's go and have a field day. Uh, so we think we found the right field. Now uh, we're going to see what this field day is all about. The whole the wind's picking up. But uh, check this out, there's like a creek crossing on the way to it. Like, how the hell am I supposed to get through that? We're going to have to wait for a ute and get a lift across it. Yeah. Damn, he's got like a dog box on the back, he's not going to fit us in. Let's see if we can get a lift with him. <laughs> yeah! Hey mate, how you going? Oh, full bus. <laughs> you made it. Let's go see what's going on. Some life-size shorebirds. These are the big ones that come from up at Russia, the Eastern Curlew. And uh, then there's a big lungfish over here too, hey, check out their lungfish. <laughs> so we've had a chat to the council, the Bear Mary River Regional River Group and some other river group, I forget what they were. But yeah, so that's all been pretty cool. We've just been talking to the state government people about the Tyro Bypass and that's all looking really interesting. They're really keen on still having tourists come through Tyro but having a highway that still flows and works as a highway because uh yeah so uh i hope they work it out good because tyro is an awesome place and like even once they build the bypass if you're not in a hurry stop in and have a look so uh there's still so much to see we're only like three stalls in and i've been here about 45 minutes i reckon pretty interesting he's got like some cell fire stuff and he's got some starlink stuff over there and like yeah he's a bit busy talking to the boomers though so we'll give him a miss <laughs> Uh, our internet's like half decent. We got like a Telstra modem and our two phones that we hotspot from when we have to. Sarah's on Optus and I'm on Telstra and uh, so far most of the time we can get at least some internet. So yeah, yeah it's been pretty good. These guys running chainsaws but they're all like plastic bodied and like I don't know. It's not massively interesting watching people use modern chainsaws. I wish I had some big old ones. Let's go see what all the standing engines are about. I love standing engine displays, eh? Hey, look. Dogs here, eh? I love working dogs. I got a Belgian Malinois, and like they're what they use for police dogs and stuff. And yeah, he's awesome. So uh, yeah, let's check out the working dogs. Hey, let me go. I want the sheep. Oh. Cop that. And if I pull up here, still, and I can say sick. And before, I've never thought her to sick. She just naturally sick. Yeah, that's cool. But if, I, if I'm constant enough, and every time she sits, I can say sick. She will correlate that action with that command and do it every time. I always say. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Those like sheep dogs are interesting as, eh? Oh man, I want that little pig. Yeah. It's gonna taste so good. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, there's a duck as well. And there's the llama or the alpaca in the middle here. He's pretty cool. Yeah, that's mad. Oh, these blokes are making rope. We, we try and help people out where we can. Uh, anyone that's 
So that's how you used to make rope. Oh look, here's a big koala without its head on, and uh, there's some micro bats here. So I've got to charge this man for me photo. Sorry, what? <laughs> no, no, sure, I'm good. Ah, uh, I had one of these, eh? Landcare in Bundaberg gave me one. Right. Uh, I used to, they I... used to buy these off me. And yeah, okay. They've, oh. now, they've now got uh, champions making them themselves. So. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, which is good. It yeah, takes the yeah. pressure off me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's cool as. Alright, so we talked to the micro bat guy. Oh, we had mm. some lunch. I had a sausage sandwich and Sarah had this mashed potato thing. Mm. And uh, then we just been talking to these medieval people behind us. They got like a medieval town somewhere around At here, Rupert. right? Yeah. yeah, so uh, we've got to find out where it is and go there. It's not open yet because of COVID still and stuff, but yeah, like it sounds like awesome. Buildings and yeah, and, a, and, and, an and yeah, stuff. Yeah, just an arena. Oh, what are they called? What's the stuff, so. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Hey, Hoping people cool. with sticks on horses. The light horse sort of military display thing. It's all pretty cool. Check this out. They got like their sword and the gun on this saddle. Pretty cool. And uh, oh, and they're all dressed up in their stuff. And there's some more medieval people. Man, I wonder who'd win if they went into battle. Horse people versus medieval people. Fucking it's on. Yeah, the view of the mountain is always mad when you catch it. Hey, have you got foot and mouth? Don't go getting sick. Yeah, I oh know. I know, I'm going. Man, the other day we freaked some horses out just walking down the street. We now we're freaking the bulls out. Like, they don't like us. Yeah, farm animals don't like us. This out, man, it's all like sex shop for cows. It's got all like marital aids for the cows. Check this thing out. I don't know what it does, but I bet it does something weird. <laughs> Look at that thing in there. Oh, wow. <laughs> What, what to do? <laughs> oh, I see now. Right. You've got to come around this side. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 Alright, we're going to go around this side. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's like a flashlight for bulls. Oh man, I wonder if they have any jobs going. Like. <laughs> You'd be an expert at it. Hey, big humpy head. Oh, that's a sick piercing, mate. Where did you get that done? Fuck <laughs> cow. Oh, they feel cool. They don't feel like a dog. They feel more like a, a dunny brush. <laughs> Baby one, he's got horns too, eh? He doesn't like being patted as much though. So. Here you go. Next time someone says they're having a field day, get down there, check out the chickens and the cows and all the stuff. There's like so much stuff about the Mary River here today. Yeah. It's been uh, cool as I've learned a lot about microbats. And uh, I've got a lot of uh, books and stuff to read now. And uh, look, here's another Mary River catchment group. This one is the coordinating committee, which must coordinate the other like six groups that we've talked to today. So uh, yeah, I'll see what they got anyway. They don't know nothing about the giant barred frog, eh? I'll have to look him up. And the uh, Mary River Cod, and the Lungfish. And what else do we have down here? The Richmond Birdwing Butterfly. Don't know about him, don't know about the Fig Parrot either. Mm, giant Spiny Crayfish, I have to find out where they are. A honey blue eye, oh man, that is mad looking. The white throated snapping turtle, I caught one of them. ABC stole my footage. Accidentally caught one of them. And uh, then there's like the macadamia and a pineapple. I've never seen them pineapples either, right? Eh? Oh. And the macadamias, that's like the bauble nut and uh, stuff like that. Oh, the water mouse, false water rat, yeah, okay. Mm. Eastern curlew, we learned a bit about him today. They come down from Siberia and stuff. Yeah. Oh, and they shrink their organs before their big journey. Yeah, yeah. What do you say? They take 14 days or four days or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, and they they fly down from like um, the Arctic Circle pretty much. 
Oh, here's some flood photos of that Dicker Bram bridge that we stayed at. Check this out. Yeah, that's crazy. That's where we stayed. Oh, in that park there that's underwater. Wow. Yeah. She's a river of floods. Oh, she's a big catchman, eh? Down the Mullaney at the bottom. That's where we were in Obiobi Creek. I've been there. Then uh, at Pomona, here in uh, Six Mile Creek. That's where I fell in the creek the other day. And uh, and then Gimpy's got all the creeks in there. We've been there. And then we come up past all these creeks here. Wide Bay Creek and Gutchie Creek and stuff. And now we're at Tyro. And we're going to Maribor next. We've been having an absolute field day here. It's been awesome. Uh, if you're around next year, come and check out Tyro Field Day. Uh, we're going to stay here tonight now. And we're going to go to Maribor tomorrow now. Because, uh, yeah, we got stuck here instead. Alright guys, so that's all for now. Uh, this was going to be a longer video of us exploring Tyro and the Mary River as well. But I'm going to split it into two videos, so stay tuned. Make sure you check out the next video as well. And we will see you on the next adventure in Escape the Echo Chamber with Neil's Cat and Ben. On. Dun, 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 dun.